Hey everyone, Kristen here from Team Brushnet and today I'm excited to teach you all how to create your own word guessing game using the Guess the Word template. To get started, head to the official website which is brushnet.io and then scroll down until you see the game templates. Look for the Guess the Word template and press the create button to open the editor. Now that the editor is open, you'll notice that we can customize different aspects of our game like our game's hero, the monster in our level, the background for our game, the interface of our game, and the music for our game. You'll also notice that we can customize our game info and our levels. We'll start by customizing aspects of our game on the left side of the screen, starting with the hero tab. The hero is the main character for our game. You can scroll through and look at all the different options until you find one that you like. If you find one that you like, just click on it to add it to your game. I'm going to pick this goat. Next, we'll be customizing the monster in our game. Click the monster tab on the left side of the editor. There are quite a few cool monsters to choose from, and I think I am going to pick this yellow one here to add it to my game. Now that we've picked a cool monster for our level, click on the background tab to choose a new background. I want to find a background that looks really good with the monster that I've chosen, and I think that that will be a darker background. So let's see here. I think this one will be great. So it's the one that I'll be choosing for my game. Now we'll customize our game's interface by clicking the interface tab on the left side of the editor. For the Guess the Word template, you can just click through all of these different options to customize the different colors for your blocks. I personally really like this color, so it's the one that I'll be using for my game. Now that we've chosen a cool color for our letters, let's customize our music track next by clicking on the music tab on the left side of the editor. You can press the play button on any of these tracks to preview them, and once you find one that you like, you can just press the plus button to add it to your game. I think I'll use this Emerge track. Now that we've customized the elements on the left side, take a look at the right side of the editor and navigate to the Game Info tab. With the Game Info tab, we can customize our game's title, tags, category, and description. We'll start by customizing our title. For my title, I'm just going to go with Guess the Day of the Week. Next, we'll customize our tags. I'll add week, weekday, and entertainment as our tags as I feel like they fit our game pretty well. Next, we'll select a category for our game. Categories include games for good, enterprise, education, social and entertainment, health, and sports. For my game, I will just use social and entertainment. Now we can choose whether or not we'd like to collect emails from our players. I personally like to keep this option off, but if you want to collect your players' emails, just click on it to toggle the option on. Now we'll customize our game's description. I think for my game, I'll just put solve the days of the week. Now that we have our description filled out, we're ready to click on the levels tab. The levels tab is located on the right side of the editor next to the game info tab. By default, under the Levels tab, we'll be editing Level 1. You'll notice that our hero, our enemy, background, and interface has already been selected as we filled these out earlier. Now it's time to customize the first word that we want our players to guess. For this, I think I'm going to use Monday. Now that we've selected our word, it's time to provide a hint for our word. For my hint, I think I'll just put Garfield hates this day. Now we'll add a category for our word. For my category, I'll just put day of the week. For the closing answer, I want the player to know what the correct word was just in case they got it incorrect. So for this, I'll put the correct answer is Monday. Now that we've filled out our level, let's add a second one by scrolling up to the top and pressing the add level button. So for this, I'm going to use Wednesday as the word. For the hint, I will put, she is a member of the Adams family. For category, I'm going to leave it at day of the week. And for the closing answer, I'm going to put, the correct answer is Wednesday. Now that we've successfully created two levels, we've completed our game and we're ready to publish. Click the publish button at the top of the editor. 
Now we can use the copy URL button to share our game with our friends and family, or if you'd like, you can press the play button to start playing your game.